All right, so uh, a little bit of progress here. Got kind of the, the general rough idea of what I'm going for here. So I just wanted, like, uh, you know, a little outpost, a little place that I can kind of call home and start getting some stuff into. Of course, lighting needs to happen. This is all really rough, 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 rough stuff. But general shape is about what I'm looking for. And I'm not exactly sure how big that landing bay is going to be quite the right size or not, but we'll see. We will have to stick our rail docker out on a little stick here. Crashing it will speed. All right. Grab that. Make sure our rail docker is sticking out a block. Actually, it just needs to be up one, so... Do that. And there we go, forward. Okay, that should, yeah, we should have plenty of room. Oh, going too quick. Still not 100% used to Newtonian physics. Hopefully we don't clip into anything. All right, and we are facing not quite the direction that I would have assumed. Oh, because the rail is pointing forward and the rail docker is pointing forward. That's fine. I can switch the rail around the other side, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. If I don't screw everything up. There we go. Okay. And we'll just pop on over. Swap that rail to face the other direction. That should make the ship face inwards instead of outwards. Mostly because I don't want that big old tail right in the middle of everything. Let's do that. Still, I've barely really played around with the rails yet, so... I'm still getting really used to what's going on with them. I really need to improve the back profile of this ship. Oh, it looks so boxy. I didn't notice that when I was building it, that from behind, it was just a big box. Oh, well, that's okay. Boxes happen. <clears throat> okay. Let's kick off here a little bit. And there we are. There we go. And now we're facing the right way. All right, look at that. That's what I was hoping for. And that fits on there perfectly. That looks pretty good. I am happy with that. So we're going to need to get some, some splashes of color on things here pretty soon. But I think my next step is going to be um, grabbing the factories from my planet base. So each of these posts holds, uh, I believe, 500. Um, let's see. Yeah, 500 factory enhancers. And so I did doing two posts for each of my starter factories just to get me started. Um, we'll be expanding that later. So that'll give me uh, a 1,000 and one bricks per second uh, per cycle for each factory. So that should be more than enough to get us started. Um, get some blocks going with that. And then I can take all this off, finally. So I'm going to go disassemble the home base. And um, yeah, disassemble the home base. I'm going to bring the factories back here and probably do some offline work. I just wanted to do a little bit of a speed build to kind of show... Uh, you know, show off a few things, copy and paste. Um, I do want to enclose these canisters in somehow. You saw me drawing some lines between them. Not sure if I want to do, like, a, a wraparound piece on it or not, but I left a little bit of room so that I can do something if I feel so inclined. But that'll get us uh, a pretty good little outpost, a little pretty good little start to the uh, server here. Should have plenty of power power recharge I'm going to be a little bit worried about because, and of course I missed all those. Um, 
Lock. Oh, I'm in build mode in the ship. That's why. Okay, so that's fine. Whatever. Um, yeah, the recharge rate on the station is a smidge low for the time being, but I do plan on extending all over the place. I thought about continuing this power system through these rails, but I kind of like the... I think I may flatten it out at the bottom, kind of to that level, so there'll just be this nudge here instead of having nudges all the way across. Um... So, yeah, and I've got, I mean, I've still got tons of room on the inside in here, um, because I definitely won't be able to run all four factories at a thousand per cycle at this point, but I don't usually need all four of them running, usually just the, uh, capsule refinery and the, uh, whatever block factory I'm using at the moment is usually all that I run, um. But that's a nice asymmetrical little outpost with a nice symmetrical little uh, landing platform. I'm okay with that. I can start making uh, some kind of little house in there and a garage. I might make a, a separate fighter bay. Or not a fighter bay, but maybe just like a speed racer kind of thing. Something to give me a small build to mess around with. And uh, and park it in there, kind of like a mechanics garage sort of place. So I feel this this little outpost I think should serve pretty well. So, I'm going to go ahead and charge up the drum and uh, go harvest our planet base and we'll turn this outpost into a home base. And then, um, I'm not sure, I'm probably going to do some more work on the base first um, and start, I need to get some storage set up, some, some cycling storage so that I can have better block systems and probably set up shop here so that I can have quick access to blocks that I want. And then I'll also be um, just, you know, general factories, general storage, things like that. So, and maybe, may even get to the point where I start throwing some color on here. I don't know. Uh, I may start on a new ship, too, because um, we've got some shields now. And uh, once I tear apart that planet base, I can search around for some Raymond Sertis on the, on the planet as well. I know I have some Sapson and Parson asteroids. So may do some planet mining, do a few uh, the slow boring things, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and see where the progress hits. All right, so as you can see here, a little bit of change on the base, just some more factory enhancers. I still don't know what I'm going to do with those pods, but all of my recent time has been spent on the Eclipse, which I'm not even sure that I showcased that name. Um. We'll even pick it up here just a little bit. There we go. Just so we can show it off a little better. There we are. So, mostly doing some detailing, greebling. Um, a few spots still need to work on. Putting in some kind of struts. Uh, we also have a working... Oops, of course that was going to happen. And I did it wrong again. Why is that not working? Now I look like a turd. Oh, because it's a separate entity. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's fine. You can just go down here. Pop the gravity module on. And hit the block. There we go. Alright. So now we've got a working uh, elevator piece. Captain's chair. So, that stores in nicely. I've got some lighting artifacts, these large black pieces. I'm not sure if that's just because I started doing some lights on the ship, if that's kind of screwing up the lighting, or if it's just that the sun is you know, orbiting, or I've orbited to a different location, or whatever. Not entirely sure, but this is the eclipse so far. Uh, it's about 50%. Uh, overdrive, mostly in the tail section. A uh, good chunk of the jump drive is in the tail as well. Uh, you can see the profile is a little bit better now. Got some tweaks on it. I smoothed out some of the back portions a little bit more. Um, things were kind of uneven there for a while. So, and now it's got a good cockpit. Um, no change to the interior 
just yet, other than lights um, and the overdrive effect module. So it uh, works pretty well. And uh, engines look at pretty good. Some Varrock crystal behind some ice diffuses the light pretty well. Um, and I really like, I like these struts a lot. I was happy with how that kind of turned out. It was, it was looking a little bit weird with it just being a twig. It looked like it was facing the wrong direction. And now it's got a more definitive, I guess it could still look like that's the front. But, and that'd be kind of a neat shape too. It'd be cool either direction, really. But, this is the front, so. And it's, you know, made to be kind of construction-y, kind of cargo-y. Um, but still sleek. And, uh, yeah, I like how this is turning out so far. Uh, still some work to be done on it. Quite a bit of work, actually. But, I'll probably get in and start trying to pick a color scheme for it. I realized, after doing a lot of planet harvesting, that I apparently harvested the own, only planet, that purple planet, had absolutely zero uh, Ramit and Certis, both. So it was a big waste of a good chunk of my afternoon just trying to do that. But that's okay, because there will be more. Um, I have not found any blue asteroids. I don't think there are any blue asteroids in this uh, sec system, because the, uh, the incline of the orbit's not quite high enough. You need to be able to get up into the very corners to get Raymond and Surtees. So there might be some on the very outer edges of the map. I haven't cycled the or circled the whole uh, belt yet to find them, but we're getting close to being done here uh, with our first ship. It now has uh, just over forty thousand shields, as you can see. Really low re recharge, uh, almost a thousand. I need to actually kick that up just to a thousand. Uh, I think I removed a couple of shield modules while I was switching some of the inner systems around. But for now, uh, it'll do. And we can go ahead and get it docked here. Pop out. And when we come out here, kick on gravity. And that's nice. It's very nice. I like it a lot. So, definitely a fan of the moving portion. I should actually put an additional wireless module. Because now I just realized I can't get into my ship when I do that. So I need to put a wireless block like right here. Hmm, except that's gonna get into the bay there. So, I don't know. I'll leave that hole there just for now, so that I remember, because uh, it's just getting fairly late. But yep, not a not a whole lot of change to the uh, base, but it's going to be my next step. It's a uh, really base. Just get rid of the darkness lighting for now. But I'm uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of how this is looking out. I think I am going to extend the uh, runway piece out as to park it more properly at this outpost and I think that I originally was thinking about turning this outpost into something larger I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not if I'm gonna make it really big or if I'm gonna keep it relatively small and park my ship somewhere else so I don't know we will see. I probably will need to make it bigger because it's my home base and I don't feel like uh, having to shield it. So I will definitely add some turrets to it in a later date though. Uh, I have kind of a couple of neat ideas. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cancel work, at least for now, on my other capital ship that I was working on, the Absolution, uh, because it, it had some neat RP storyline ideas in it, but it did not, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to serve the right kind of purpose for where I want to go right now. So I've got some cool ideas that I want to start working on, especially now that uh, rails are out and since chain docking is something that's okay, uh, I'm really excited to be able to do some more intricate, more complex builds, so 
for now, that's going to be just about it. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure when I'll be compiling this episode together, but uh, here in a couple of more jumps, we may actually attempt to see how difficult the uh, pirates are on the server. I have not encountered any pirates yet uh, in, during my mining. Um, I did interact with the uh, Imperium, which is the largest faction on the server, and I did a trading run for them, so that was good. Um, unfortunately, my ship was in a much rougher state when I was doing that, so... Um, but I still got a couple of kudos on it, so that makes me happy, it makes me feel good. And uh, I'm just kind of building it for, for my level right now, for my own appreciation, which is the only thing that you should do um, if you're going to tackle something. In Star Maid, don't try to build for other people. It's great if other people, you know, give give you credit or commend you on work that you've done, but don't do it just just to get their appreciation. Because you're there's always going to be a better builder. There's always a bigger fish. So, and there's always criticism that you can take um, or that can be given, and because everybody's artistic style is a little bit different. So, but I'm happy with it for now. I like the I like the way it's turned out. Um, there's some things that I would definitely do differently uh, if I were to kind of rebuild it, and there's some some things that I've learned, some things that I like from it, and some things that I really don't like. But it's a it's a salvager ship, so you know it doesn't have to be perfect. It can probably be a beat, bit beat up, a bit off. So yeah. Anywho, that's the. Uh, that's the work on the Eclipse so far, and tomorrow we'll see about possibly coloring it, maybe, depending on how much paint I have, um, and then uh, getting out and doing some more mining, and hopefully doing some work on the base, unless I get totally sidetracked by a fighter or something, which is very likely. And we're back. Got some recoloring and detailing done on the Eclipse. I'm fairly happy with how it's turning out. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure about these large kind of side pods, but I definitely like the uh, the engines, which I have improved a little bit more. Flushed them out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sold on the tail end either, but for now, it'll do. Uh, I wanted to uh, go ahead and pop in and start doing, uh, continuing some speed build on the uh, station down here. So unless we get any orders for blocks, I've set myself up as kind of a, a small trading company on the, uh, on the server. So unless we get any orders for specific types of blocks, I think I'm just going to build on this for now and see where it takes me. So we'll do that.